In this module, we shall discuss some enhancements to the basic Islamic microfinance model. These models could be based on Murabaha, Mudarba, Musharaka, Salam, Qard Hassan, or anything which is a combination of these. Enhancements are required because the targeted individual, family, or a community, they are actually vulnerable segments of Muslim society. In many cases, because of circumstances, they may not be able to successfully do that business and may end up in debt. Gharib aadmi, ek to gharib aadmi hota hai. اوپر سے آپ اس کو پیسے دے دیں اور بیچارہ آپ کا مخروض ہو جائے دیٹ از ناٹ گڈ فار دا ویلفیئر آف دی پرسن یو آر ایکچولی ٹرائنگ ٹو ہیلپ سو ان مینی کنٹریز دیر آر سم انہینسمنٹ ان کیس آف پاکستان اسٹیٹ بینک آف پاکستان ایکچولی آفرز آ گارنٹی کائنڈ آف ارینجمنٹ فار دوز who offer microfinance to some targeted communities. Of course, SBP doesn't give reference to Islamic or conventional. Their view is that if you're offering microfinance in a particular district, uh, we would probably give you some kind of guarantee. For example, if State Bank of Pakistan wants microfinance institutions to offer microfinance in Tatha because it's an underdeveloped district. Then they would tell microfinance providers, if you offer microfinance in that district, 40% of your loss, if that happens to be the case, we would be bearing. Agar aapka 100 rupiah ka nuksan hoga, to 40 rupees we would give to you. So microfinance providers would check whether in that area there is 40% default. If the default is less than 40%, they would be very happy to enter into this arrangement with the State Bank of Pakistan. Now, in case of Islamic microfinance, the enhancements to the basic structure or basic model of Islamic microfinance, they are done with the help of zakat or donations from independent organization. This helps the most vulnerable segment of the society, i.e. the zakat beneficiary. So the underlying model could be anyone. Underlying model could be this one. The Salam model, for example, we discussed in the last module. But this could be Murabha based as well. This could be Musharaka based or Mudarba based. Enhancement means what? For any reasons, there is a problem here. This guy fell sick, for example, and could not do business. Ye banda ready lagata. Barshi itni zyada ho gayi ke wo ready ni laga saka. And this income which we were expecting, this didn't come through. So it is not fault of this poor man, it's just circumstances. In that case, normally, especially this structure is very popular in, in, in Indonesia, a zakat facility is set up. People in financial distress, they are beneficiaries of zakat money anyway, right? So if this person is in distress, in that case, the Islamic microfinance provider would ask this recipient to have access to this zakat facility to pay its debt towards Islamic microfinance provider. There are so many issues involved in this case and due care is taken in this process. For example, if this guy is indebted, Islamic microfinance provider cannot go to the zakat facility and get the money. 
because this is a requirement of zakat that zakat should be paid first to the zakat recipient once the zakat recipient has received this money only then it should come to the islamic microfinance provider there are some economic issues as well there is a problem of agency problem okay i e moral hazard problem once this recipient knows that there is a zakat facility available it is quite likely that he would not be spending a lot of time in doing the business ye insani fitrat hai so there are mechanisms so this guy the recipient would have to work very closely with the local zakat committee and would have to establish that he is a good guy he is not a bad guy if he is a good guy with good morals and ethics only then they would give him access to the zakat facility if it's because of moral hazard of course he can have access to it once twice three times but not any more so these are the enhancements which are part of islamic social finance i said previously that islamic social finance comprises quite a number of institutions islamic microfinance is one of them others being waqf and zakat so there are some islamic microfinance arrangements in which mudaraba musharaka murabha salam and other modes of financing they play an important role but there is an association with a waqf there is an association with a zakat organization and so on this kind of structures and arrangements are becoming very popular and they are being emphasized upon in the context of islamic social finance which is now of a big focus in the wake of covid-19